today we are going to learn about the units and the dimension in that first of all we will see what is physical quantity So those quantities which we can measure, they are called as physical quantities. As a quantity which we can gain, we call physical quantities. So all the measurable quantities are called as physical quantities. Now, uh, which quantities we can measure, like length, mass? time this we can measure so these are called as physical quantities the quantities which we cannot measure like uh, happiness fear thinking imagining so such quantities are not called as a physical quantities so this physical quantities again can be divided into two types First one is uh, fundamental quantities. And second one is derived quantities. So fundamental quantities are those physical quantities which are independent of other quantities. जो दूसरों पर डिपेंड नहीं करते ऐसे क्वांटिटीज को फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटीज बोलते हैं सो दिस क्वांटिटीज आर इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ अदर क्वांटिटीज एंड डिराइव्ड क्वांटिटीज आर दोस क्वांटिटीज व्हिच आर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटीज सो ऐसे क्वांटिटीज जो दूसरों पे डिपेंड करते हैं जिसका मेजरमेंट करने के लिए दूसरे फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटीज का यूज करना पड़ता है सच क्वांटिटीज आर कॉल्ड एज ए डिराइव्ड क्वांटिटीज लेट अस टेक एन एग्जांपल लेंथ इफ यू वांट टू मेजर द लेंथ सपोज यू वांट टू मेजर द लेंथ ऑफ अ क्लॉथ देन व्हाट यू विल डू यू विल टेक ए स्केल एंड मीटर टेप एंड देन यू कैन मेजर इट लेकिन उस टाइम पे आप ये नहीं बोलेंगे कि मुझे टाइम नहीं मालूम इसके लिए मैं लेंथ ऑफ द क्लॉथ नहीं बता सकता या ये क्लॉथ का मास कितना है ये नहीं मालूम इसके लिए मैं इसका लेंथ मेजर नहीं कर सकता तो यू विल नॉट से लाइक दिस बिकॉज द लेंथ ऑफ द क्लॉथ इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द टाइम एंड इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ द मास ऑफ दैट क्लॉथ यू कैन मेजर इट डायरेक्टली विदाउट नोइंग दोज क्वान्टिटीज and that's why length is called as a fundamental quantity likewise mass is also fundamental quantity time time is also fundamental quantity because when you are measuring time you just use the watch at that time you no need to know about the mass or the length so time is independent quantity and that's why it is called as a fundamental quantity likewise thermodynamic temperature thermodynamic temperature this is also a fundamental quantity and electric current electric current and luminous intensity
luminous intensity and amount of substance amount of substance so all these are the fundamental quantities let us uh, give the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 and 7 so we can say there are seven fundamental quantities length mass time thermodynamic temperature electric current luminous intensity and amount of substance ye seven fundamental quantities jo hai aap ye video ruka kar isko yaad kare stop this video give the time and memorize these seven fundamental quantities you must have to have memorized this now if you come to the derived quantities so derived quantities are those quantities which are derived which uses the fundamental quantities for its measurement either you are using same quantity two times then also the resultant quantity is a derived quantity or you are using two different fundamental quantities then also that quantity is called as a derived quantity let us take an example in which you are using the same fundamental quantity but two times three times for example area in area you are using the length length fundamental quantity but two times you are using it length into breadth length into breadth so this is called as area so area is a derived quantity because it is using the fundamental quantity two times then also it is called as a derived quantity area is not a fundamental quantity likewise volume breadth is also a length only fundamental quantity so that is a distance only distance displacement length breadth height all this comes under the same fundamental quantity length so volume is length into breadth into height here also volume is a derived quantity because it is derived from uh, three times using the fundamental quantity length breadth and height now we will take an example in which you are using two different fundamental quantities and we are making a derived quantity like velocity in velocity you are using displacement by time so displacement is again the length only so you are using two different fundamental quantities to make the velocity one is displacement and another one is time so velocity is measured in terms of two different fundamental quantities displacement and time and that's why velocity is a derived quantity it is not a fundamental quantity again acceleration acceleration is also a derived quantity because you see acceleration is what velocity by time velocity by time and the velocity is distance by time so distance by time this is the velocity and divided by time is time. so when you are finding acceleration you have to measure distance and time and that time you need to take two times and that's why it is known as a derived quantity it is known as derived quantity so this was the difference between the fundamental quantity and derived quantities and we have seen their examples here we say there are the seven fundamental quantities but here there are no such fixed number there are lot of 
of uh, quantities which are derived quantities or you can say after the seven fundamental and two supplementary quantities are also there and the rest of the quantities all are derived quantities.